Joining me now ahead of his APFC debut in Richmond, Virginia, James Neville about to go to war once again. How are you feeling, man? Just about a month out now. Feeling really good. Um, the training's been going really well. The diet's been going really well. Cardio, kind of everything. You look for fight camp, so I'm feeling really ready. Excited to fight in front of the home crowd again. So really excited for this event. First APFC show in Virginia. How did you feel when you got the call and found out that we might be headed down or headed up? Uh, I very say. excited. Um, we had an event locally in Richmond. Um, ended up falling through um, after they were supposed to come back, but we had an event here, and like everyone from our gym, our friends, family, we packed that place. So uh, I felt really excited. I had a lot of my fights. I've had to go out of state, Texas, South Carolina, whatever. I've always fought the home crowd uh, person. They're trying to you know, feed me too or whatever. So it's good to be in front of like my home crowd with my my people who can support me. Um, so I was very excited. I've been seeing a lot of folks picking up them tickets off you, man. How how are you feeling? How are you looking or what are you looking to put on in, in front of the, the fans at APFC 6? Just kind of what I normally do. Just pressure, a lot of good uh, stand up, groundwork, all the kind of stuff in the MMA fight. Um, I've, yeah, I've been pushing tickets a lot. I'm pretty good at being personal with people, you know, getting them. I help out a lot of people at the gym. So whenever it's my time to shine, like they come out and help me, which is awesome. So I'm really excited to put on a good show, but also just to hear that, that loud crowd, uh, cheering for me and my teammates. For sure. For sure. It, it's gotta be nice to have the, the shoe on the other foot for once and be in your hometown. Yeah, for sure. It sucks having to go where everyone's uh, booing you the whole time when they're trying to root for their, uh, their hometown boy. So what do you know about your opponent headed into this one? So I know he was six and two as an amateur. Most of his fights were at 155. He took like a couple of year layoff and then got real big out of nowhere. Um, I think he just started lifting a lot. And now he's uh, an 85er. Um, a lot of power. Looks like he, bring, he brings the fight. A lot of good cardio. So I'm expecting a, a good fight. I, I don't think it'll be an easy finish, but I think it'll be a good three round war, um, you know, depending on where the fight goes. But yeah, I know it's his pro debut. He had uh, a lot of fights early in his career at 55 and now he's fighting at 85. So I'm interested to see how he does. I know he has he had one fight, his last fight at 85, where he fought a good opponent, but uh, his opponent was more of a natural 170 or 55 er So I'm going to be his first like real 185 er So it'll be uh, interesting to see how he deals with it. How do you think that'll benefit you knowing that you'll likely be a lot more comfortable with the weight class and the size? Um, I think it's a big advantage because a lot of my fights have been heavier guys. I started my career at heavyweight, then did 205, and then mo mostly been 85 to 205. So I've been fighting big dudes pretty much my whole career. Even when I was doing wrestling, I was always having to go up a weight class. So uh, I know how to deal with it. I mean, he maybe he doesn't have to worry about the weight cut, which would be cool for him, but I'm, I've been very used to going against bigger dudes uh, my whole career, so I'm, I think that'll be a big advantage for me. Do you have any predictions to how this one might play out at this point? Um, He's, he's a tough dude. I'm ready. I mean, I always want to get that early finish, that first rounder. I've had a lot of those in my career, but I'm ready for three rounds because he, he looks, seems like a tough dude, so I'm not going in there expecting an easy finish. I'm expecting three rounds, and that's what I'm preparing for, Um, but I'm, I'm expecting an exciting fight no matter uh, how it goes. You've got plenty of support coming out, but to those who may be letting this one fly under the radar, why should they be tuned in to your bout at APFC 6? Uh, I mean, just look at our records. We finish fights. It's one of those fights, either I'm finishing him or he's going to finish me. Like, we're going to go in there to knock each other out, choke each other out. Um, you know, it's not, it's, it, I don't think this can be a boring fight. I think we're going to go out there, even if it becomes a grappling match, it's going to be a high paced grappling match. If we're throwing, we're both going to be throwing with heat. So it's one of those fights you don't want to miss. Everyone, is everyone there, likes to finish fight. Uh, is there any added uh, motivation knowing that there's going to be some stars in the house, Anthony himself and, and stuff like that? Is there any, any added uh, motivation while you're in the gym prep for this one? A little bit. Uh, it is cool to, you know, see those big names. I know they had John Jones at Milwaukee, and I can imagine that was exciting for people. Um, but honestly, I just want my, like, my teammates, my friends, my family, like the new fans and stuff like that. Just people, the people that I've been working with for this whole fight camp, the people I've been training with, you know, most of my career. So it'll be hearing that loud crowd is going to be my big motivator. You're well along the journey now, but let's dive back to the beginning. Why was it that you ended up stepping foot in an MMA gym and, and how did uh, your whole career come to be? Uh, I started way when I was young. I was really into wrestling, like the the WWF back when it was uh, in the 90s where they were like hitting each other with chairs. And 
all that stuff. Um, so that it really started with wrestling where I got into that. And then I did that for most uh, as a kid. And then Chuck Liddell was that big knocking people out. And, you know, that kind of got me into it. So I started into my striking and then, you know, kind of the rest is history. I just wanted uh, to fully focus on that. Some people find their calling in life and it seems that you found where you're meant to be. How is it going to feel when you step into the cage on the day? Is your weight cut usually a little, a little, uh, a little easier on you? Is it a, a steeper cut to 185? What What are we looking at behind the scenes? Uh, I'm usually a big, yeah, I'm pretty big for 85. Most of my weight cuts is around 15 to 20 pounds. Um, I've been doing it a lot. I got it down to a science to where I exactly how I want to cut weight. So come into the fight night, I'm definitely going to be pretty heavy. Um, but that works well with my game. You know, I'm usually you know, push the pressure kind of thing, being big, using my weight uh, to my advantage. Uh, but I've been doing this plenty of time. So once the weight gets over, I got my specific plan on how I'm going to get that weight back up. And then, you know, once it comes fight night, I'm just going to be, you know, listening to the crowd, focusing on the game plan and just, you know, getting ready for war. And finally, what do you have to say to your opponent just a few weeks before this one? Good luck, man. Come out swinging. Let's ha Let's have a good time. James Neville goes to war with Adrian Soto Perez at APFC 6. Richmond, Virginia is going to be on fire. James, thank you so much for stopping in. I'm sure we'll have a few of these in the future. Yes, sir. I can't, I can't wait. Make sure you're tuned into APFC 6 Sunday, July 16th on UFC Fight Pass. You won't want to miss it.